effects, 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 effects. Well, you know, the first and most simplest effect was the reverb. Because the reverb is the one that was easiest to build with um, a spring. You get a tin cup and a spring, and you could have bring it. And, and, and you basically put a transducer at one end and a microphone on the other end. And the spring <coughs> actually delays the sound, so you get boy. Well, the thing about the spring reverb, it always had a metallic sound to it. And it was annoying, especially on drums. You put it up and you're like, boy. You know, and for years people tried to build a reverb that is more natural. Like if you're in the mountains, you know, you say, hello. Just um, carry without this hello song like a tin cup. But um, after the spring reverb, we went into the plate. Now the plate reverb, it's like the spring, but because it never sounds so tinny, it had a kind of expensive quaver. You know, like a good plate reverb is like the EMT, EMT gold, gold foil because they find that when it's covered with a gold-plated thing, it really sounds good, you know? Um, so reverbs were like a sought-after thing, especially a good reverb, a good plate reverb with a good singer sounds expensive, you know? Like um, a lot of this stuff on Philadelphia International, say like a song like um, Harold Melvin, um, the love I lost, you could hear. The love I lost was a big love, a big song. The love I lost, you know. And you could hear that big, almost churchy sound, you know, which, which was quite tasty. Then you know we go on to the delays, the echo. Well, you know, in the early days, the echo was done by using a third head on a three-headed tape machine. Going back out from the third end into the record head, and it depends on the speed you're going at. If you're going at 59 PS, you get it either like a little like a sizzle, then you could go seven and a half. Hello, 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 hello. Then you could go three and three, three and three quarter, which is a standard dubbing speed. Hello, low, 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 low. Or if you want, you could go even slower, and you have a tape machine. <laughs> going um, slow than three and three quarter, which is one and seven eight rare tape machine, which is hello, 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 hello. Yeah, and of course, the faster the speed, the higher the quality of the echo. You know, now um, tape delays were in up until like the late 70s when something came on the market called the early digital delays and they were made with a chip called the bucket brigade and they give a kind of metallic delay sound you know they were quite good they were pretty cheap and you know you could make them and um, they kind of took the market you know nice bucket delay sounds uh, um, I mean, the popular reggae echo was really the tape echo, though of course Scratch immortalized the, um, the uh, space echo, but I tried the space echo a few times, what I didn't like about it is the quality, it had a kind of lo-fi quality about it, and I went for the next one that came on the market, which was the SD 3000, SD 2500, 2500, which to me they are perfect. I mean, they're like really great delays, you know. Yeah, um, but of course, nearly every manufacturer at that point made a delay. You had like the Lexicons, the PCM, you had the Korg, the Roland, the even tides. Who, who, who like evolved from Digitech, MXRs, you know, all of them made 
great delays, you know. Um, yeah, and that's and that's delay. All the effects you had on the market, you had like phases. Of course, you had people like MXR with like the wet sound. And you had even tide delays. You had Roland uh, even tide um, even tide phases. You had Roland phases. Yeah, man. Everybody had phases, you know. And of course, um, like your um, your classic black arc phases, you know, which everyone sort of, you know, because Lee Perry had a magic sound. But I think the final balance of Lee Perry's sound was his ears, you know. It wasn't. It wasn't really due to due to the effect, you know. His work with him, I noticed he had a way where he balanced everything, you know, and that was really special and unique to him, you know. Yeah, man. Other effects, of course. I I started to use the um, the harmonizer, like a dummy crazy part one. We have things like people beware or never be free. Let me pitch it up like, Hey Bobby, where are you? Never be free, 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 free. And a dummy crazy part three where we'd like echo the harmonizer. Where we go? Boom, 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 And yeah, man. So that's the wonderful world of effects and dub effects, effects, effects. 